Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Dan, doing another little video today. Today, talking about something I can't get out of my brain, and it is Halloween, surprisingly enough. Please, please bear with me. I understand. It is January. I get it. It's January. No one wants to talk about Halloween. But I do. I do want to talk about Halloween. Because basically, ever since last Halloween, ideas have just been flooding my brain. I can't stop thinking about Halloween. So I need to speak about what I want to do and get it out there in the universe. And then I can just sort of maybe put it to sleep, put it to rest for a little while. The spooky vibes are fully awake as always in my house. We've got the ghosts with us. I'm drinking from my spooky cup of teacup. I've got a big skull on the back of my top. Excuse the bald patch on my head. Um, <laughs> I want to talk about Halloween. That's what I want to talk about and I can't help myself. So you might have seen in one of my past videos that I sort of briefly, momentarily spoke about an idea I had for something like a theme I wanted to add into my haunt this year. It's been sort of eating me away inside and I've been, my wife's been going on, oh, what should we, what holiday should we go on this year? And I'm like, I don't know, Googling Halloween props. You know, I, <laughs> it's crazy, guys, crazy. So basically I went on YouTube, I searched for a few ideas that link to this theme and I wanna sort of, I'm gonna watch these videos, I've not actually watched them, and I just wanna sort of react to them, see what I think, see if it's something I can do. Before we get into anything guys, if you could just hit that subscription button, hit notify, and like and comment if you can, cause I would love to hear what you guys think about my ideas in this video, and love to see, I'd love to hear if you've actually done any of these things, if you've actually made what I'm gonna be looking into in a minute, it'd be really, really helpful for me some tips and some ideas would be great. Very much appreciated. So let's get into this. So the theme I've got in my brain for this year is a pirate theme. I don't want to go full pirate. I want to just kind of add it on. I've done the graveyard. I'm going to carry on with the graveyard. I love my tombstones and I think I'll make more tombstones this year. But I also, I've kind of come to a decision, I think, that I'm not going to buy any more animatronics unless I see something epic. If something amazing comes onto the market or something that really goes with my theme as it is, be it cemetery, witch, or in this case, pirate, then maybe. But other than that, I'm gonna stick to what I know. And it's this pirate theme that I really like. I love this idea of building a pirate ship. Now I've not got building skills like I've seen already some clips of some YouTube videos. Nowhere near am I gonna be able to build some epically sized 20 foot pirate ship. I'm just thinking small scale pirate ship, maybe just the front part of the ship, is it the bow, at, with maybe like some wreckage around it and a pirate sort of uh, clinging onto the side. Maybe even in, on fire, like a fire effect, like the ship sinking and the dragons causing it to sink because I could have the dragon linked in with that there. I don't know, I've got all these ideas whirring around my head and I need some inspiration. So that's what these videos are. So let's just get into them now. So the first video I'm gonna watch is a video by TND, which I think must be some kind of a news channel, I'm not sure, um, but it just, the title is, Man Builds Pirate Ship for Halloween Display. So let's check this out. Oh, okay. Every year we do something oh, which wow. is between a scary theme and a fun oh, theme. Oh, cool. People from everywhere are coming and we've gotten uh, so much positive feedback. It's been great. Put quite a bit of work into it. Um, there's a lot of preparation. Very uh, piratey, yeah. Wow, cool. I like the little shit, Almost little bow wow. Oh, the cannon with the smoke the effect. Some time. All the fog is very, very cool. I like the Spot sort of cracking effect as well with the big octopus arms. Oh, and of course they did it for a charity. Oh, like a food collection. Okay. That's really cool. Oh, wow. Response we've gotten from other people. 
So, and we did, and uh, why not benefit the, our own community? Just to look at this display is, is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. So we just, first of all, we want to thank Tony. Wow. And Captain Jack. Oh, he's got Captain Jack. Who knows how to say yes and pirate? Oh, no, that's cool. Yeah. Let me hear you say aye, aye, Captain. Look at that ship, though. Look at the detail. Oh, I, I love the cannons. That's so uh, cool. Ready? Here again. We just took a long weekend and we put the ship up. And it's a long great. weekend to put the ship up. Wow. It's a hobby and it seems to get bigger and bigger every year. Nice. And that's that one. I think I'm going to watch one more just because that's epic. But maybe, maybe a bit big. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can find another one. So this straight away is far beyond what I could achieve, but I'm going to watch it anyway. Her inspiration of detail more than anything, um, but because it looks insane. This is a video by Cater's Clips and it says, Dad creates 50 foot pirate ship for daughter's dream Halloween. Let's check this out. Holy crap. Whoa, that, now that, that's amazing. Holy crap, that's enormous. That is a ship. That is an actual ship. Wow. Ah, oh, fire. I love the light effects. So cool, the flames, that's awesome. Absolutely amazing. Look at the detail. I mean, the, I'm not being funny, but the mast itself, that must be like, I don't know, like 30 foot high? You know? To actually be able to erect this on your front lawn is unbelievable. And that's that one. Okay. So they were just a couple of videos there, um, quite short videos. I, in no way, shape or form, will be able to create anything anywhere close to that. It's far too big. My lawn isn't even that, la it, that large that I could build something that big, even if I had the capability, which I don't. I'm thinking, I love the details. I love all the added extras that you can put in that would be relatively cheap. I'm pretty sure I could manufacture something that was at least maybe six or seven feet high. And I'm thinking, like I say, maybe just the bow of the ship sort of sticking up so it looks like it's maybe sinking with some form of a, a mast sort of falling over a little bit with the sails on it, perhaps. And I've got, you will remember, I've seen, shown him in a few videos before, Mr. Skeleton and my favorite prop that we've had now for a few years from Costco. He is a pirate skeleton. He has an eye patch, he has the bandana on his head, and we could pirate him up a bit more, and the fact he's lost his arm. Oh, and he's got a peg leg too. Peg leg and a, and a, and a parrot on his shoulder. Pirate, hello. I love the pirate theme, and I think it kind of mashes in nicely with the graveyard, weirdly. I don't, I think there's this weird thing between about pirates and death, and skeletons, of course, kind of link nicely together. So I kind of think, what I've got in my mind's eye for my haunt this year is thinking about extending the graveyard so it kind of comes more around the side of the house. Having my wailing phantom, who didn't get much of a great displaying period last year because of the weather, more closer to my front door. So he's really imposing as you first come along the front of the house. And then if the weather turns bad, he's easy to bring in as well. The witches, I think I'm going to keep where the witches are because they, they always go quite well there. Though I do think I'm going to maybe, instead of my pirate skeleton spitting out water, I'm going to get rid of that as an idea and maybe do like a cauldron A-frame type thing, maybe bubbling. That'd be kind of cool. I want to rebuild my crypt that I built for my uh, banjo skeletons and include that in the graveyard area. Like I say, I want to add some proper newt, some more bigger size tombstones this year too that would be kind of cool i need to rebuild my pillars as well i need to make a more solid pillar maybe out of some form of timber and then foam on the outside that i can detail and then there's the pirate ship 
that I want to build. So I'd like I say, just the front half of the pirate ship with a few sort of piratey details hidden around it. And my, I don't know whether I could build a cannon, but I, I'd like the idea of smoke effect coming out of the pirate ship. Maybe a sort of pirate ship sinking like it's on fire and the dragon's the thing that's caused this sort of disaster. I don't know. I've got all these ideas whirling around in my head. Yes, I am fully aware that it is January, but I just really, really like this stuff and I can't help but think about it. And I had to say it, I had to get it out there in the open and tell people what I'm thinking about because I think once I've got it off my chest, I can kind of put it to sleep, put it to rest for a while. Once I've got an idea of what it is I'm doing, then I can sort of move on for the rest of the year, focus on all that other stuff, and then maybe by like July time, sort of reawaken all this and start building some stuff. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little idea session, uh, whatever you want to call it, and my reaction to those couple of pirate videos that were so cool. I'll leave the links to the people who made those videos in the description below if you want to check them out. And I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.